I'm Maren Morris, and if you don't know about these songwriters, you should. In honor of Women's History Month, we are spotlighting some incredible female songwriters in country music. I have always found my voice sharpened when I hear an amazing song from a female songwriter. I think each time you write with someone that's just a different perspective or who has lived a little bit more life than you or has written a ton more songs than you, you get to put another notch in your belt of wisdom when you write with incredible women. Natalie Hemby was my YouTube obsession. She wrote this song called The Bees that Leanne Womack recorded. And I found Natalie playing it live at the Bluebird on YouTube and I was just obsessed with her from that moment on. And then I wrote a song one day with my friend Daniel Tashian, who wrote The Bees with Natalie. He played the song we wrote for Natalie and she was like, who is this Maren Morris? I need to get in the room with her. And she called me one night and we talked for probably half an hour and I was just so elated. It's just so funny because I still geek out on her, but she's such a close friend. She sang In My Wedding. I have been to her hometown Puxico with her. I have written songs for her project and obviously we are in our band The High Women together. She just brings something out in me and she makes me better each time I write with her. Hi, I'm Natalie Hemby and I have written Miranda Lambert's Only Prettier, Casey Musgraves' Rainbow. But today we're talking about Pontoon by Little Big Town because I wrote that. The song to be fair, got started as sort of a joke, honestly, and it's the best joke we ever told. Blue Claire and I have been friends for a long time. We wrote this song called Fine Tune, and actually Miranda ended up cutting it and put it on one of her records. But somebody said we thought we said pontoon, and I was joking, kinda, and I was like, we should write this really obnoxious song called Pontoon. And he was like, oh my gosh, that'd be hilarious. It's probably the most literal song on the planet. On the pontoon. We started writing it and you know what? Sometimes when you're with your buddies, you just act like a bunch of fourth graders. And originally the first line was back this bitch up into the water. And we just thought that was really funny. For obvious reasons, we changed it to hitch. Back this hitch up into the water. And then we got to the part where we were like, out here in the open. And then I was like, what, what rhymes with open? And I'm like, I'm thumbing through and I'm like, open. Closing, I'm like whatever happens with open, Bo boating, Mo motorboating, like it's it's, it's motorboating, right? We were well aware of the alternative meanings of motorboating, and if we're gonna say it, but like let's say it, right? Like motorboating. <laughs> motorboating. Little Big Town came and swooped it up, and they made that song like fun and cool. They did a video out there. We were all watching them. It looked like everyone's dream day off is basically what it looked like. And it was just the most fun day. They did the song and I mean, it just blew up. It was like, it was unbelievable to watch because it started kind of small on the charts and it like got played out a little bit. Uh, but when they did the CMT awards, that is when it all changed. I was like, we wrote an earworm. That's so exciting. I've never seen a song do that. 